Hi, and welcome back to Gomag Lynn's Country Kitchen, GG for short. We're doing Duchesse potato today, which is the first potato dish I ever learned and came from college. Mash to some of us, Duchesse to some of us, Duchess even as well. We're going to mix the white potato and sweet potato together. I'm also going to do some nests where we're going to put a tomato and casein and some garlic mushrooms. And we're going to serve them with some sausages with some onion gravy. So I've just taken the potatoes off the boil. I'm going to mash them up. And there's salt and pepper. I'm going to put salt and pepper in. If you, if you, you may have another, there's another kind of mash you can buy where you put the potatoes into like a ricer and mash them in much finer potato. But the lot I'm cooking for today are quite rough, so don't mind if there's a few lumps in it. There we go. Mash it. Nice and mash. We fried it. We 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 boil the potatoes on average of 15 to 20 minutes, depending on the size you actually do your potatoes. Just boil them and put a knife. When the knife goes through them, fine. Drain it. Put it back on. Get the last bit of water out. Mash it. I'm going to add now egg yolk just to rich it up a little bit more. And you could add cream. And also when you're doing your douches, you could add horseradish to it, you know, some chili, parsley, chives, anything you like. But we're just, we're, we are, we're doing it plain, but not plain basically, because obviously, like I said, I'm gonna put some sweet potatoes with this one. So that's basically our douches potato. I've done some more already for our marquee potatoes or nest potatoes. Once again, we need a piping bag from that very famous plastic shop. We're gonna cut the end off enough so the end should be. So we're gonna try and make sure my star nozzle will go into, if I can open you, it's like this bag, you can't get us it. You can't get around you, can you? Okay, in we go, to see if it'll, oh look the way I did that, frighten the life out of me. I need to cut it a little bit more, but I don't want to go too far because the last thing I need is the nozzle to come reaching off the edge. There we go. What I'm going to try and do is I'm going to be a bit clever. I'm going to try and put some douches in. And remember with the piping bag, use your thumb, squeeze it into the bag. So you've got your, use your thumb, squeeze it into the bag. And I'll push that down a bit, flatten over to one side, and I'll just see if I can be a little bit cleverer. Put a bit of the sweet potato in. Once again, thumb, thumb, and you've got to get the air out now. So you're going to squeeze it down. So the idea is we want a bit more of that one down there. We'll just see what happens. Oh dear, that's a big one. Okay, you're trying to get the air out. Once again, round your thumb, you only use your two fingers for piping. Put it over there. We've got a bit of baking sheet, a bit of baking, what's that stuff called? Yeah, baking sheet. Now, fingers crossed. Oh dear, now is it good? I've got too much air in here. Okay, funky. Which is the quiet bit. I think I've got too much air in these ones. And you pipe, and as you pipe in, you twist so the pressure's there and up she comes. Around now we've got the don't forget this is very hot as you're doing it. That's what you also you've got to remember. So you might even my hands are quite used to the hotness. You might want to put a cloth kind of around it, especially this part. Your fingers should be right at the bottom bit. You twist it around again. Salt and pepper. Oh, hey, look at that. That's what you've got to be careful as well. Look at that. <laughs> That's a sh 
I can't say what I was going to say there, but there you go. Uh, <laughs> so that's because we're going to just pipe that back on there. Put this, put a bit more of this one on there. And there's our duchesse. What I'm just going to do now, I'm just going to make some, do some marquee potatoes at the same time. So I'll be back with you in a minute when I just sort out my little technical hitch. Hello, welcome back. I've got myself sorted out. I've got a new piping bag, and this is just plain duchesse potato this time. But we're going to do this in the shape of, and you can see I've just moved them all over. And I'm going to put them in the oven in a minute. So what we're going to do this time, don't forget to hold the bottom. I'm just going to do bottoms like this. And once again, I'm twisting around there. I need to move that one over, so I've got to do four of these. I'm twisting it round, holding it with my thing. So now we're going to do, if you were doing like um, meringue nests, that's what they are, like meringue nests, but with potato. I'm happy with that. So there they are, six duches, four of them with a little tiny hint of the sweet potato. Four marquee potatoes. We're going to pop these in the oven about 180 to 200. Throw that over there. And then this, just to harden them up, then we're going to put a little bit of glaze on, a little bit of egg wash on them, and come back. We're just going to do our filling now, which is a filling of um, tomato con casse. We've got our tomatoes there, um, a pan there. Now, remember, you keep the stalk on, you shouldn't cry. And we need to go through there like that, through there like that. And we're dicing. Fine dice into our pan. Put it over there, a little bit of butter. Oil. We've also at the moment got some round onion rings on the go for our onion gravy to go with the sausages we've got. Oh gosh, you really took me eyes out. I'm going to keep them going there. We're going to come back to the table for just a minute. What I've done earlier today is I've put the tomato into boiling water, to boiling water, and help the skin peel off. I've peeled the potato, potatoes, these are tomatoes, not potatoes. Take the skin off the potato, or tomato. I've hollowed them out, so there's no pips and the bits and bobs in there. And we're gonna dice these. This is the tomato concasse. Very classic old dish. Still just delicious today, really. Got that, we'll do another couple of those. We've done some, so we've done diced, diced onion, a diced tomato. You might be able to hear the dog in the background. So I think the postman's been again. So we've got some butter, oil. You we'll try and make them not change colour. Unlike, unlike the other ones, the round ones, we want them slightly caramelised. Make some gravy. Could be a gravy left over from Sunday lunch, even if this is Monday. And I'm going to put some gravy into there. And bring that up to the boil. Let it reduce down. This comes nice and thicker. We're going to take this one away. I'm just going to put our chopped tomato into this one. So we've got a chopped tomato. Give it a little, little, little stir. That look beautiful that looks. Chop parsley if you like to. A bit of pepper. Bit of salt. If you don't like salt, pepper, 
you know, don't use any, especially if you're on a salt free diet or anything. We can keep that going. Bring it. I think we can lower that one now. Oh, we're going to go back to the oven and have a look and see if our potatoes have slightly set at all. So we're going to go back to the oven now. And they've just, just hardened enough for me to just egg wash. So we're going to get egg. So we can beat the eggs up. That's the rest of the people coming for lunch today, that is. So we beat the eggs up. Got a brush here. I'm going to brush just a little bit. You could use butter as well. If you want to just use some butter on there. So we're just going to egg wash all this. Get it round everywhere you can. You can brush as much as you like, but you don't want to keep watching me do this. There we go. Brush them up. Get a bit of colour on those. Back into the oven. That's hot, isn't it? Forgot I've just taken it out of the oven. Oh, mad. Back in the oven. Just to brown them up. Ten minutes on high. And I'll see you again in a couple of minutes. Hello. Well, we, we, we put the potatoes, the douche and the marquee in the oven to set them up a little bit more. Then what I've done, I've put the grill on full blast for about um, ten minutes in the oven. And as I want to try and get this dinner cooked and out, we've put five minutes under the, under the grill. Now come out, so divine. Now you will, what you can keep doing is keep drizzling a little bit of butter over them while they're under the grill. So they, so they really do sort of, oh, just looks like, just so juicy and so, oh, just you want to grab a medium. And what we've done, as you know, with the, with the nest potatoes we've done, I've done some garlic mushrooms, so what we can do is fill up the little reservoir in the, more, in the middle there with the garlic mushrooms. And if you've got some, some of the garlic butter, pour the garlic butter over the top. Now if you remember as well, we had cooked some tomato concasse. It's another lovely filling in the marquee, the, the nest potatoes. We get exactly if you were making meringues. What I'm going to show you what we're going to do, we're going to do, I'm going to put one of each on the plate so you can see what they look like. There's the garlic mushroom. There's the tomato con casse. We've got sweet potato. Duchesse, sweet potato, and just normal straight Maris Pipers using today. Maris Pipers. Got a couple of sausages. You know, like sausage and mash. So, to give it a bit of height, we're just going to, we're actually going to use the, the, the Duchesse potato to give it some height rather than slap a lump on the top there. And we'll finish off with. Good old onion gravy. Remember we did rounds, rounds of onion. And that. We've got a bit of parsley on there, just because we seem to do that all the time. So you put a bit of parsley on there, a bit of parsley on the tomato. And we're gonna sit back and enjoy these. We'll see you next time on Gourmet Glen's Country Kitchen.